survivors welcome back once again to episode two of the podcast you guys have seen episode one and that is all about heads or tails today we have something a little bit more different for you but make sure you head on and just watch all the way through to find out exactly what we are going to be talking about i may be a new face to the emba series and uh it makes sense because i am my name is abstract and i have been covering more towards the european side such as the free fire pro league uh recently did the ultimate squads as well so for those people that are watching from the europe hello i hope that you guys are happy to see me but for now I need to focus a little bit more on the Free Fire uh, EMEA Invitationals, which will be happening from the 20th of November all the way until the 27th of November. Make sure you guys catch that, okay? But as a little bit of a hype up, we do have this podcast for you, so hope that you guys enjoy. Make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and like as well. I would not be here alone, though, because I would like to invite my new friend over here, and that is going to be the one and only Machiavelli. Hi, survivors! Thank you very much, Abstract, for the wonderful introduction for the second time. This is Machiavelli from the MENA region. Today, we are going to have that second episode with the grenade now or later. Oh, there's going to be hype. There's going to be hype, Abstract. It- Indeed, thank you for pointing that out. Now, grenade now or later, that is going to be the topic for today. And pretty much the title says it all, right? What exactly are we going to be talking about? Because the grenade strategy, or I would say the pocket grenade strategy, you may think of it any other way, it, grenade in the pocket, or you will only take out a grenade at a certain time, that's why the pocket. You know, we've been seeing that a lot nowadays, but A little bit of a recap and a little bit of a history whereby this strategy, people whipping up grenades, became a lot more famous ever since the Free Fire World Series 2021 Singapore. And because of this, this is such a destruction over to the Free Fire meta. And I would like to talk a little bit more about that when it comes to the Pro League, when it comes to all all sorts of professional league uh, from all across uh, the region. So, Makabali, yeah. how do you see this happening? And it, uh, what's going on in Mena? Do you see more of that grenade strategy a lot in there as well? So, to be honest, abstract, the tactics are very various, as we know. So, and sometimes, you know, you really need to think twice before wasting it. And this is always what I see between the Mena teams generally on you know Tima which uh, Mina which is region so it as like let's say for example I'm going to to give you like an example about what is happening in Mina so let's say that the bomb which is the grenade which is I call it in our you know Arab style which is the bomba of course all the viewers are going to know this you know this this word which is the bomba when they heard the bomba which is it, it it means there is going to be something which is epic is going to happen which is the ko so from the team who have it is going definitely to have a ko to the other team so on the other hand abstract so the most tactic that we see in mina is they are always have a lot of it and they keep it to the end you know they keep it with them until the end until the the match end until uh, until you know the the 15 minutes of you know fight after fight so when they are very squeezed the team for example at a certain point they just throw it all together to get the boya faster than ever this is the tactic which is i always see between the mina teams Right, okay, so is it right for me to say that when it comes to the Mina teams, it's more of the fact that in almost every situation, in every scenario, people will be lobbing grenade, no matter how it is. Yeah. Is that right? Kind of, kind of, but uh, like what I said, you know, there's a various of, of ways to, to, to deal with uh, with, the, with the grenade. Grenade is not like just like, you know, any gun, any weapon, uh, whatever it is. No, you need to, to concentrate. You need to, you, you need to study the, the opponent or the team, the, the, the other team, what they are doing. Are they like, you know, uh, going to the right or going to the left? So at the exact time, at the exact moment, 
this is where the grenade is going to have a blow let's say quadra or triple kill suddenly and you will get the the, the, the boy in uh you know <laughs> like uh, before the enemy blink as we like we, we always say i see okay great insight from the mana side as for for my side you know for the european side i think yeah. that when it comes to grenade strategy uh, we see that a little bit, right? We definitely saw that a little bit. Uh, I would say that it is not a very big idea within uh, the European scene. It's more of the fact that there will be people keeping grenades. Maybe about three or four per person, somewhere around there. We won't be keeping up to six or seven because of inventory space and, uh, and whatnot, but more, uh, more or less three or four. Uh, the main idea of the grenade, at least from what I know, is that the grenades are used in certain conditions number yeah. one breaching into houses mm -hmm. uh, and when it comes to breaching into the houses we don't necessarily look for a knockout right we are using the grenades more of a functional tool can to be re yeah. relocate the opponent, exactly right? yeah so it's a little bit more big brain to a certain extent right you yeah. throw the grenade not to kill people but to clear an area so that when you head on to the second floor, you don't have to clear the area anymore. You can immediately turn right and not care about your left anymore. That yes. kind of stuff. So I can get the idea. And of course, suffocating the opponents. That is what the grenade is perfect for. You know, can you imagine someone knocked down over here oh. and the opponent team pops a grenade, uh, pops a <laughs> blue wall here and then realize that, oh, you know what? I'm susceptible from the back. Pops another blue wall over here. You're exactly. essentially shutting yourself out in that. And exactly. What's the best way to kill the people inside Machiavelli? Your nay, the bomba, as we say in our region. Exactly, exactly. Your example is very accurate, uh, abstract. Exactly, this is what what is happening. There's different ways, different various of you know strategies, uh, tactics. So you must be creative. You must like think out of the box uh, to how to save your you know your your team. Uh, uh, that the, the time to be exact is 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 very certain on point so we we are speaking about like you know just like fly with your thoughts and you will have a lot of different like uh, how to get the points mm -hmm. yeah be creative yeah. don't be too grounded as to how you want to use the grenade but speaking about how to use the grenade at least for the mana side you know do you do you guys usually throw grenades at the start in the mid or at the end of fights the end the, end? the, the end, end. The end, always the end, yes. Because like what I mentioned before, when you are so squeezed, what we always see in Mina, they are like some certain like teams, they are squeezed, they don't know what they do, uh, to do and they have a lot of grenades. So the best also strategy, which is, or, or, or tactics, the tactics that they use, um, all the team just th throw the grenades, you know, make the other team like go right to the left, to the front, to the back, they don't know where to go. And suddenly you will have a quadra kill. Suddenly you will have a boya in, a, you know, in just like b before even that the enemy like uh, look behind or what, what, whatever, uh, what, what exactly happened. So yeah, this is it. This is it. Right. Okay. So I would say that at least for the European side, it's a little bit different, right? Most of the time, the grenade is the opener. We are usually looking mm. at grenades as the opener. The best way to start a fight is that when the, the opponents already have 2% incapitated, yeah. that is the best way to start so that you already have uh, the numbers advantage. There are times that we are looking at them throwing in the uh, mid stages of the fight because of the fact that there are blue walls propped up on both sides. You'll want to hit someone behind the blue walls in order to get yourself the advantage. Hardly we will ever see people ending a fight with a, blue, uh, with a grenade because technically we're looking at it that, that as a dream play, right? There's a fairy tale ending to a fight. And not a lot of people is able uh, is capable of doing that. And thus, the European side, we usually have it at, at the front uh, of the fight and the midst of the fight. Uh, so yeah. I, I'm pretty sure that we both have spoke good logic and ideas about the grenades. Hopefully. But unfortunately, we are both casters. And we are yeah. looking at it in a bird's eye view. We don't really get the idea of how does it feel to be in the battlefield itself. And Makaveli, I believe that uh, you may not know of this, uh -huh. but I do have a guest for you and now. Oh, really? Okay. Because, because I'm going to be inviting one of the players coming in from the EMEA side. He's the one and only player 
and you are gonna be excited as I shout his name out. Who is he? he? Who is Shadil oh! from Steam Chef. Hello, guys. Yo, hey, bro. Welcome. Hello, welcome, I'm welcome. in the cave. Alhamdulillah, how you doing, bro? This is a very surprise, and you know, you just surprised me, Abstract. A little bit of airtime for Shadow, right? Shadow, what, why don't you introduce yourself? What kind of role do you play uh, within Shift? Uh, I'm Shadow, I'm the squad Shift. I play the tactic, I move the team, I make it into a zone, and I make the squad complete and complete in the game. وانا بالله اعطي اعطي يعني اعطي يعني الاوامر الاعضاء الفريق انهم يعني يكوشوا او يدافعوا او يهجموا يعني هيك ثانك يو سو ماتش شاديو اي ام فيري ماتش لوكينج فورورد تو سي هيز تيم بيرفورمانس اند موست امبورتنتلي هيز بيرفورمانس ان ذا فري فاير اي ام اي اي انفيتيشنال بس وي هاف جوت كوايت سم توبيك ذات وي لايك تو توك ويز شاديو اباوت بس بيفور وي ايفن جامب اون تو دو ات اي بيليف ذات وي هاف a small little clip roll through so let us take a look and then afterwards we'll have a good talk about it Naruto one piece في زوي حاجات مش طبيعية فساد بابلو في الكيروزا يطيح بالاول ويا ترى البومبات مين اللي قبل ناكازاكي يصير يطيح بحد ولا لا بابلو بالجهة اليمنى محاصر على لاعب امير هيد شوت جميل حمراء خطيرة في شنو داون في شنو داون امير داون يا سلام ويا سلام ويا سلام الايزومي ضد بابلو نو رائع جدا يعني متوازين تقريبا لاعبين والفرق خلينا نشوف ونتابع مين ممكن يكون المركز الاول مين راح يحصل على الكويا يا فيزا فيز ذهب بعيد وراح النقابه الشفت والمركز الاخير نعم شنو هذا يا سفيان my oh my wins after wins after wins now that is booyah coming in for team ship for many times and i guess this is just two out of the many but this clip is a very important clip because I would like to talk a little bit more about the fact that when they won the game, Shadio, uh, when you guys won the game, you guys have got quite an amount of grenades in your utility belt, and I believe that there were around seven uh, grenades on one of your members, uh, on one of your team members' side. Uh, on another clip, there was about three grenades, but none of them were utilized. You guys have went throughout for gunfights just shooting the opponents all over again there is no cooking of the grenade or anything uh, what's going on why are, why are you guys not using grenades do you guys just don't believe in grenades in the final circles لا احنا الجرينيتس يعني نعتبرها شيء اساسي في الفريق احنا عندنا لاعبين تقريبا في الفريق اللي يلعبوا بجرينيتس وفي اللقطه هذه يعني لما كان بابلو عنده سبع جرينيتس ما استعملهمش لانه بقينا مخلين البريشن على السكوادات الاخرى وما عندنا الوقت انه نستعمل جرينيتس يعني ما جات الفرصه عشان نستعمل جرينيتس يعني استعمال جرينيتس حسب السيتويشن ديبيندس اون سيتويشن اوف فايت يعني تبع الفايت يعني ما ما كان عندنا السيتويشن عشان نستعمل جرينيتس لهيك كان ما عندنا كثير جرينيتس رايت رايت اوكي انديرستاند ناو بس سينس وي ار اون ذا توبيك اوف لونج رينج ويبن رايت When it comes to snipers, dual wielding snipers, we, we definitely see, uh, saw that a lot. Uh, is there any preference from your team? Do you guys prefer to go on um, so someone with a full sniper loadout and then someone with grenade loadouts? What's, what's going on with that? Uh, in our squad, there are two players who play with grenades and players who play with snipers. ولاعب يكون يعني شوت كولر زي هو انا يعني يمشي الفريق يعني تقريبا هذه استراتيجيه استراتيجيه تبعنا يعني في الفايتات وفي التكتيك تاع تبع فريق شيفت بيرفكت ناو ذات داز جيف اس كوين انسايد از تو انديرستاندينغ ذا فاكت ذات ذي اول هاف a advantage of this own right there's no point in sticking true to uh, only grenades or sticking true to only snipers and at least for shift it does make sense for them to do that 
someone onto grenades, someone onto shot calling, someone onto snipers, so that at least they can work throughout the board. If one doesn't work, they can always go for the other thing, right? And I guess terrains are also gonna be a pretty good point to talk about, right? Uphill, downhill, if you are at the bottom, um, bottom or at the top, what's the best situation to, be, uh, to use when it comes to grenades, right? Do you use grenades more at the top of the hill or do you use grenades more at the bottom of the hill? يعني بالنسبة للجرينيتز يعني أحسن شيء أن تستعملهم لما يكون عندك الهاي جراوند ما يكون عندك اللو جراوند بيكوز يعني الهاي جراوند هي تخل أنه تخلي الجرينيت تنزل كثير يعني تبعد كثير بس لما يكون يعني تكون أنت من تحت يعني في اللو جراوند الجرينيت ما راح تبعد كثير يعني ما يكون صعب استعمال understandable right when it comes to uh understanding the lobbing uh lobbing uh mechanics you do have a further range at least when it comes to that so if you want to give out some element of surprise to other people uh with that which i believe is something that the mana side likes to do right elements of surprise just lobbing grenades just when no one expected and the last thing that you know is just ticking time bomb that is just going on either on the left right or right on you and that is the kind of thing that we can definitely see from the other side which i am very excited for i'm not too sure what else i can expect but i gotta have to say that i have a lot of expectations i am very well looking forward to uh looking forward to it thank you so much shadow for coming in uh do you guys have any, do you have any last words for your uh, for the viewers out there people who are supporting you please take take the stage انا نقول لكم يعني شجعونا وراح ما راح نخيبكم يعني في الفاينل وراح نفوز باذن الله بالبطولات بالبطولات القارات هذه ثانك يو سو ماتش شاديو يو جايز ار بريتي ماتش دي اي ام اي تيم ذات اي نو اوف رايت ناو سو اي ويل بي روتينغ فور يو جايز نو ماتر وات رايت سو ان ذا فيري ايفنت ذات يو جايز هير ا ليتل بيت تو ماتش اكسايتمنت وين ذي وين يا دونت بي تو سربرايز يا ناو ذس از ذا اند اوف ذا سكند فيديو بودكاست فور ذا بري فاير انفيتيشنالز Uh, make sure you guys tune in to the preliminary rounds of EMEA starting on the 20th and 21st of November. Make sure you watch it and of course we will be able to tell if whether any of these matters would work. Who is going to be the one to come up on top of this pre- uh, preliminary round? Who's going to be playing on the heads? Who's going to be playing on the tails? Is yeah. it going to be grenades now or is it going to be grenades later? I gotta have to thank uh, Makabelli so much for joining in uh, with me here on the panel. Thank uh, you. Shadio as well, uh, we've just uh, moved off. Make sure you guys stay tuned for more. Ring the, uh, click on the bell if you want more videos because we still have one more episode for you guys. For the, it's more of like a final warm up for mm-hmm. everyone else out there as a viewer or as a player. That's the final one that you guys want, want to look out for. It is said and done. My name is Abstract. And with me here is Marco Valley. Thank you. We shall see you soon, Survive.